Hey guys, so this selection box science experiment is all about making a retro old school camera using one of these, a crisp tube. I'm sure you've probably eaten quite a lot of these over the Christmas holidays, I definitely do. So what you need to do is clean out the inside and then, with a ruler, just mark off five centimetres from the edge all the way around and then you need to cut that bottom bit off and maybe get an adult to help you with that bit. What you get then is you'll get a small bit of the tube and a big bit of the tube. Now, we're going to be making a pinhole camera. Now, there's a little pinhole at the front, the image comes through and projects onto a screen. So we need to make the hole at the end. So take a thumbtack or a drawing pin, pop it into the middle of the, uh, of the foil bottom and then just, just push through. Put it back out again and you've got yourself a tiny little pinhole. Now that is perfect. Now you need to make your screen and for that you're going to use your lid. Take a bit of tracing paper and just draw around your lid on a bit of tracing paper. Cut that out just inside the line and you'll get that. That's going to be your screen. And then with a little bit of glue just around the edge of this, stick that onto the inside of the lid like that and that is going to be your projection screen. Now you need to assemble your pinhole camera. So what you need to do is Take the end with the pinhole, that's where the image is going to come through, and then stick your screen on the bottom, just pop your lid on, like that. The end of the tube goes on there, and then you need to gaffer tape all the way around, just gaffer it, gaffer it, gaffer it, and what you'll get is this. That is essentially your pinhole camera. Pinhole at the front, screen in the middle, and this is your viewing tube that you're going to look through. Last thing you need to do is wrap a big bit of foil all the way around the tube, and this is to stop the light getting in, so just wrap that all the way around like that, and we're ready to try it. All right, let's try this out. Now you just need to put it up to your eye, but use all this extra foil to make a really good seal so no light seeps in. Have a look. Yes, that looks awesome. Now the reason you can see anything out there in the outside world is because light bounces off an object and comes in and enters our eye where it forms the image. It's exactly the same with this pinhole camera. Light comes in from outside, goes through that little pinhole and forms an image there. Now, you've got Elf Angus out there uh, waving his arms. What he's doing is uh, he actually appears upside down on the lid when you look at that screen. It's kind of weird, but it's easy to explain. Any light that bounces off his arms at the top comes in, comes through the pinhole and forms at the bottom of the screen. But light from his feet comes in, goes through the pinhole and forms at the top of the screen, so you get an upside down Angus. Let's have another look. Oh, and that's nice, you just saw a car driving on and it looked like it was, it was driving on the top of the screen. Now, one other little trick for this as well, if you've got a magnifying glass, pop that at the front and you can actually use that to focus the image really nicely. So, there you go, ditch the digital camera this Christmas and make an old pinhole camera out of a crisp tube. Happy snapping! <laughs>